All right, YouTubers. Uh, I was gonna up download the uh, upload the video of me tearing this thing apart, but I did get the pretty much the whole engine ripped apart. Uh, just uh, use this uh, round pan and some uh, wood to uh, hold it. But I did get the. Uh, this thing is bent. This is the, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not on here. It's got a little bit of a bend to it. It's kind of bent right in here going down. I might be able to place it on a couple pieces of blocks of wood back here and here and take a sledge and whap it once and see if I can straighten it. It was a little rough getting out of the hole but uh, I got the case apart. <coughs> it's kind of dirty and the gasket Except for right, maybe right in here. Except for right here, maybe it's a little. This, I don't know if this is the original gasket or could be. A little missing right here, but it's covering it. It's covering right in here. I don't know if I. I know if I take this whole gasket off, it's going to be a real pain in the ass cleaning it, getting it cleaned up again. But, uh, this is just some little pieces right here. I think that's this part right here. Is that right there? It's that big hole, yeah. So I might, I might just put a little sealer on this and put it back on and I got this it's got to come out of the but here's the kickstand So you got uh, <coughs> you got a C clip here, a sir clip. I don't know what they call them. There's three of them on here. What you need your um, snap ring pliers. I guess they called snap rings, but it came out. That fits down in here. This little thing fits in a groove here. It just fits right in there. The, but I'll get the uh, the new one. Get the new one on. I got the sap ring on this one here. This is the one that goes on. But uh, I might, I might just get some sealer. So I did. I kind of ruined the uh, bolts to taking this thing apart, trying to get it apart. Some of them were just nasty. Yeah. Stay put here. I 
I'd grind the head off of some of these. Now some of them did come apart with the uh, impact screwdriver that I have. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to replace these. Short one. I had to had to cut the pretty much cut the head off of it. But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna replace these with new bolts. New, uh, I guess the, you can get, you can get the chrome plated ones that are like Allen's, but they're like three, almost three fifty a piece for these suckers. So I'll just go over to Ace Hardware and match up these bolts. And uh, get some new ones in there. Put them in there, and maybe get some more uh, sealer. Go over to the auto place and get some of that black sealer, and run around the edge of this. Run around here a little bit because it's pretty. It didn't leak, so I got a feeling that the only leak that'll come out of it is maybe here. Because there's really nothing breaking the skin here. So it's just a matter of get some uh, black sealer and just seal it and then stick it back on. Save my other gasket in case I need it. In case that doesn't work. So I'll just uh, do the best I can to clean this up. Get all the black junk out of it. Spray it down. Because I was kind of grinding away you know the bearings are in pretty good shape All right, I looked at the I looked at the gears the gears there are in decent shape so It's pretty much clean it up. But this thing that holds this this stuff in is this uh, well, that's the uh, that's for the Oh, that this is this runs the uh, oil pump. I guess I'm gonna have to make sure I get that back in right and correctly. in that slot well I'm gonna have to shut stop this for now just doing an update on the uh, Honda CC CT 70 1974 uh, my progress so then I'll be putting this thing back together and uh, cleaning it putting it back together um, but uh, that'd be enough for now